this is a phase three clinical trial of a PI3 kinase delta inhibitor called lineal acid in a very rare genetic disorder of PI3K uh, signaling pathway due to genetic defects in PIK3CD and PIK3R1 genes. And uh, pathogenic uh, variants of these genes cause uh, kinase hyperactivity and it results in uh, a disease called APDS, also known as PASLI. And uh, ac acronym PASLI highlights the clinical manifestations, which consists of P110 delta activating mutation, causing increased senescent T lymphocytes, lymphadenopathy, and immunodeficiency due in part to hypogamma globulinemia as a class switch defect in the B lymphocytes leads to that. And uh, accumulation of unwanted lymphocytes leads to massive lymphadenopathy and splenomegaly in these patients. And they also have lung disease uh, manifesting as uh, recurrent pneumonias and gut disorders manifesting as enteropathies, colitis, and history of intersusception in childhood and liver disease including portal hypertension and sclerosing cholangitis. Childhood onset uh, sinopulmonary infections and multilineage cytopenias due to autoimmune destruction and splenic sequestration have been a cardinal manifestation of this condition. And recurrent and persistent viral infections due to herpes family of viruses have been reported. And But what is the really worrisome fee finding in this disease is uh, both nodular lymphoid hyperplasia and increased risk of malignant B-cell lymphoma uh, reported in patient series of up to 30% in some of the series that we have published. So only a small percentage of these lymphomas are EBV driven. So we really think the EB lymphoma is driven more by the PI3 kinase genetic defect. So lineal as a, you know, very targeted, uh, specific target uh, treatment for uh, PI3 kinase uh, genetic defect, which is a, actually a, the, the disorder is due to hyperactivity of uh, PI3 kinase pathway with due to PI3, P110 delta hyperactivity. And this particular drug, lineolacib, sits into the pocket of P110 delta, so it inhibits P110 delta activity. And it is given twice a day, 70 milligrams in the morning and 70 milligrams in the evening. And it, we, in our particular clinical trial, we enrolled uh, 31 patients with uh, APDS that ranged between the age of 12 and 54. And uh, these patients were enrolled for 12 weeks. At the beginning of the trial, we did specific measurements of um, uh, lymphocyte subsets in the blood and we did imaging with CT scan or MRI scan measuring the lymph nodes and spleen size and at the end of 12 weeks we did the same thing we measured the lymphocyte subsets and we looked at the spleen and liver so the essential results are primary endpoints uh, where lineal acid increased the percentage of naive B cells out of total B cells and lineal acid also reduced lymphadenopathy in uh, these patients. And it was, it was a placebo controlled trial. So 20 patients, were, 21 patients were on lineal acid and 10 patients were on placebo. And there was a very remarkable difference between the two groups.